Imagine you walk into a jewelry shop and the shop owner tells you that you've just won some free gold. He gives you these few options but doesn't let you see how big the nuggets of gold are. He tells you to pick whichever nugget you want and you obviously want the biggest one. But how do you know which one is the biggest? If we just look at the numbers without taking the units into consideration, we might think that we would get the biggest nugget of gold if we chose the 4,631 nanogram nugget, since 4,631 is the biggest number on our list. But that doesn't really give us the full picture. We can't just compare numbers without also looking at the units, or the prefixes of those units, that describe them. So what we need to do is convert all of our masses that are being described using units with different prefixes into a unit with a common prefix. You'll notice that grams has no prefix in front of it, so it might be easiest to convert all of the other masses into grams. Let's first look at our 0.0005769 kilograms. In a previous video, we learned about the unit prefixes you should be familiar with. Which of the following is the correct conversion factor for grams and kilograms? Out of the options here, the only correct answer is this one. Now that we know what our conversion factor is, which of the following is the correct number of grams in 0.0005769 kilograms? We start with 0.0005769 kilograms, and we know that there are 1,000 grams per 1 kilogram, so we'll write this conversion, making sure we set it up in a way that allows us to cancel our kilogram units. By putting grams on top and kilograms on the bottom, we can cancel out the kilogram units, and we are left with 0.5769 grams when we multiply. This gold nugget is much bigger than the nugget with a mass of 0.002415 grams. Now let's look at the next gold nugget, the one with a mass of 4,631 nanograms. How many grams are there in this many nanograms? We know that there are 10 to the 9 nanograms in 1 gram, so we'll start with 4,631 nanograms and use that conversion. Again, we'll make sure that we cancel out our nanograms so that we're left with grams, since that was our goal. Once we multiply everything out, we see that this gold nugget has a mass of 0.0000004631 grams. Now for our last gold nugget, how many grams are in 1,239 picograms? There are 10 to the 12 picograms in 1 gram, so now we can set up our conversion. Once we multiply everything out, we see that this last gold nugget has this mass. If we put the gold nuggets in order of increasing mass, this is what we get. So it's good that we did these conversions before choosing a gold nugget. It may have been tempting to choose the 4,631 nanogram nugget in the beginning, since 4,631 is the biggest number, but now we know that we have to also take into consideration the units tied to the number before we can make any conclusions.